The next Peabody Award goes to PRI Studio 360, <clears throat> American Icons, Moby Dick. This installment of American Icons guides us through Herman Melville's classic tale of compulsion, rage, and rapture, illuminating and revitalizing a masterpiece. So what makes a philosophical, comic, tragic adventure tale still matter so much after 150 years? I decided to find out. I'm Kurt Anderson. Today in Studio 360, we're going on a chase after Moby Dick through movies, music, paintings, and books in which he's left his traces ever since Herman Melville released him in 1851. It is the strangest book I've ever read. It's so weird. We'll hear from some of the most creative and interesting people in America who have been inspired by this American icon like performance artist Laurie Anderson. I fell in love with it. The artist Frank Stella thought he'd make a few pieces about Moby Dick, but then spent more than 10 years obsessed with the book. It took a kind of energy out of me, and uh, it was against everything that I'd ever thought about what painting should be. Here to accept the Peabody is executive producer Julie Burstein. I am thrilled to be here and want to thank the Peabody Board for recognizing my team for creating great radio about a 150-year-old book and the ferocity and beauty that's inside it. I want to thank my Studio 360 colleagues, Kurt Anderson, Peter Clowney, Carrie Hillman, David Krasnow, Michelle Siegel, Ave Carrillo, and especially Lee Talmolad for making our program about Moby Dick sing. Thanks to the management and board at Public Radio International and WNYC for the vision to start and nurture a radio program about creativity, pop culture, and the arts. Thanks to the CPB, NEA, and NEH for their support. And finally, thanks to someone who couldn't be here today, Herman Melville, and all of the artists and writers and filmmakers whose work we explore in Studio 360 and who continue to inspire and move us to see the world in a new way. Thank you.